we have here is this two-story uh, framed dollhouse, but it's actually framed like you would do in an actual life. So what I'm gonna show you is how to frame it step by step. Uh, as you can see the two stories and the roof, what we're gonna focus on is the bottom walls. We're gonna frame that up and then we're gonna go step by step. But this is the whole complete house framed up. So the first thing that we wanna do is the four walls in the bottom. And these are your four walls that you wanna focus on on the bottom. What we'll do is we'll focus on the two side walls here, this one here, and the other side over there, and then we'll do the other two sides. Once we frame this up, the four walls in the bottom, we're gonna frame up the two floors on top. And these are your two floors, the bottom one and the top one, and this is where your floor level is gonna be. But this is pretty much how you would do it in real life. So, like I said, we're gonna focus on the bottom right now and then step by step we'll take it, okay? Reason to doing it this way is, not only do you learn how to frame, but also it's a nice little dollhouse you could give away and uh, you know they could play with it. That's why I left the openings a lot, a lot bigger. One thing you'll see in real life, the header, which this is a header, I put it all the way to the top. So that way we wouldn't have to cut you know, smaller pieces. So when you uh, start doing it, you won't have to worry about that. And I'm gonna have all these pieces cut for you so that way there's really not too much cutting to do. There'll be a little bit, but it won't be as much. So this is gonna be the second step. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna frame like an actual house. Uh, the only difference is uh, in an actual house, of course you nail it, and this we're gonna glue it on. Um, the walls right there, so you can see it. Uh, what we'll do is first take the top plate and bottom plate and we'll open it up and then we'll get the header on top. On real framing, usually it sits a little lower, but we're putting it up to the top just to make it easier for us to uh, put it together. After that, you get your studs, which are the, the pieces that go from the top all the way to the bottom. You put two on one side, two on the other side, open it up, and two right beside the header, like that. Did you notice it has the X's and the O's? The reason for that, and real framing, you mark it, people mark it different ways, but most of the time you'll see X's and O's, uh, meaning the X will go, the board, which is your stud, king stud, will go from the top to the bottom, and your O's, meaning that it does not go all the way up. You put your trimmers inside, to hold up this header from coming down and your window right here. Now you're just going to put in your cripplers. This is more for your corner post so that way when you put two walls together you'll have in real life drywall to nail up to. And it also makes it easier for us to glue. Like I said my my walls here are pretty much are actual framing for real life so this is pretty much how you're going to see it framed up and then you just put your cripplers down here and you're done with the wall when you glue it I kind of recommend that uh, you either glue one side then the other side or either way makes it a lot easier if you just glue one side and then you put the other one up on top okay so you're going to build two walls like this and then you'll have the right side and left side and then we'll focus on the other the other walls and then we can put it all together so that's uh your two walls okay on the next wall that uh we're going to build since you know how to build a, a window uh, this is going to have a window and a door this is one of the the side walls, which is basically more the front, the front of the of the house. So this one's going to have a window and a door. Okay, window and the doors are pretty much the same. So 
keep in mind that a lot of these pieces, we're gonna have them all cut, so it'd be a lot easier for you. And this right here, one's a trimmer, one's a stud. Stud and trimmer, different sizes. So I usually separate my pieces to know which ones I'm gonna get. First thing we do again, open it up. The two headers, one for a door, one for a window. We made them both the same size, that way you can easily put uh, your hands in there and put any uh, objects that you want to put in there, toys or whatever you want. On this one, we will not have a corner post, so we just have one in the ends, and that's it. Then we take our studs, put them on the sides, like that. And then we got our trimmers, and we put them inside to hold up the headers. Keep in mind, this is actual real framing, so you're doing it. And all we need is a window on this one, okay? And then we put our cripplers in the bottom for our window. and that would be our window. If we want the header smaller, all we have to do is just cut that header and then move this over and then we would have a smaller window in case you do want a little smaller window. But we're making it big so that way we can put objects in there and uh, have the, that room that we're looking for. So there's your second wall that you want to do after you build the other two. So this would probably be your third wall and we just need one more and we put it all together. So there you go. And these will also have the X's and O's. That's your third wall. Okay, on your last wall, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna use a bigger header. So first thing we wanna do is open up the bottom plate and top plate, and then put your header wherever you wanna put it. In this case, we put it on the side here, and uh, we put two studs, this time on the corner over here, so we can have that uh, room for the corner over there. And uh, another one here, Another one at the end, three more in the middle, studs. Real life, studs will go 16 inches on center. Unless you use a bigger two by uh, six, then you can span a little bit more, but most of the time, 16 inches on center. You put the trimmers in, and we have our last wall, okay? That will be our last wall. After that, we put all the walls together. Okay, so it's actual framing, 16 inches on center. In this case, we only put three, and we'll put it all together.